Dave Elmendorf joining us now. Thank you so much for being with us. Dave, a lot of people around here in the state of Texas know you as a Texas A&M Aggie, once an Aggie, always an Aggie. But let's go back. You grew up playing in Houston at Westbury High School. Yeah, the old neighborhood is, has changed considerably. Uh, our old, uh, old home is still there. We were, uh, uh, when we moved in there in 1959, it was a brand new neighborhood on the southwest side of town and uh, with plenty of room to grow. And people won't believe this, uh, those that know Houston, uh, from the end of our street, which was one block west of Chimney Rock, to Sugar Land was all cotton fields. And uh, of course now it's all, all homes, it's all totally developed. And you were actually drafted by the Atlanta Braves, the Boston Red Sox, the New York Yankees. Amazing that you played both baseball and football so well. I was drafted out of high school but by the Braves. Uh, and of course my father was an Aggie and uh, he was also a stickler for education. Uh, so there was no way that I was going to sign a contract uh, in baseball uh, out of uh, high school. So I went to A&M and, uh, and negotiated with Coach Stallings to be able to play both baseball and football. On the second time around, I was drafted by the Boston Red Sox. Uh, that was after my junior year at A&M. And then after the, my senior year, uh, I was drafted by the Yankees. And I, I did grow up being a Yankee fan. Uh, of course, the Yankees were so good back then. Uh, they're still good, but uh, it, was a, it was a difficult decision. Dave, you were a special teams guru in addition to playing on the defensive side of the ball, but when it came to punt returns and kickoff returns, you were one of the best. You took advantage of what they would give you as a rookie. I, I went to Los Angeles in 1971 uh, after making the decision to play professional football rather than, uh, than sign with the Yankees, and that was a difficult decision. Uh, it ended up being a decision based on minor leagues. Mm -hmm. Uh, not, uh, uh, I knew that if I chose baseball, I'd have to hack around in the minor leagues for a year or two at least, uh, being an outfielder. And if by going to the Rams, I could, uh, I could find out immediately if I could play. And back then, as a rookie, you did everything. So yeah, I, I returned punts. Uh, I was on kickoff coverage. Uh, and I was a starter at strong safety a as well. So we did a lot as rookies back then. I think it's changed quite a bit. Uh, these days, the rosters are bigger, but, uh, but yeah, you, you were asked to do a lot because you were, you were a kid. Dave, you played nine NFL seasons, 143 games, never missing a contest. Tell me about that longevity, especially with the LA Rams. I was able to, to, to secure a starting job as, as a rookie and, uh, and played nine seasons, and that is just luck. I mean, you, to, to be able to play nine seasons and not miss a game, not that I didn't have injuries, uh, but I didn't have an injury that was serious enough to keep me out of the lineup. And, and I'm, I feel so blessed, not only that, uh, that I've stayed relatively injury free, but to be able to play with the, the caliber of players uh, that I got to play with uh, on the LA Rams defense from Deacon Jones when I was a rookie to Merlin Olson to Hacksaw Reynolds to Jack Youngblood to Isaiah Robertson. I mean, just go on and on and on. Just a lot of great players and, and it was fun. Dave, the LA Rams won divisional titles from 1973 to 1979. Chuck Knox was the coach, did a great job. In fact, you guys reached the Super Bowl in 1979. What was that experience like? Tommy Prothrow was our coach when I got there as a rookie, and he was a rookie coach. George Allen had just left to coach at Washington, the Washington Redskins. So Tommy Prothrow was our, our coach, and uh, we were 8-5-1 and one that first year. We were 5-8-1 and one in the second year, and then Carol Rosenblum bought the team and changed coaches, and that's when Knox came in. So 8-5-1, and 5-8-1, and one, Coach Knox comes in, and uh, in the 73 season, we were 12-2. and two. We won our division. Uh, that was the first of seven division championships in a row that we won uh, with Chuck. And finally, after the 79 season, uh, we were able to, to defeat Dallas in, in Dallas, 21-19, uh, and then beat uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road in Tampa Bay, 9-0 uh, to nothing to go to the, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl 14. Vince Ferragamo? Vince Ferragamo was our quarterback that year. Uh, that was the first year he'd been the starter. We'd had a different quarterback just about every year, starting with Roman Gabriel in 71, uh, and a lot of guys that you'll recognize, uh, James Harris, John Hadle, Joe Namath, Pat Hayden, uh, but Vince was our quarterback that year. Well, Dave, of course, you're now working with Dave South with the Texas A&M broadcast, and that's gotta be fun, returning home to your alma mater to be a broadcaster. I, I absolutely love broadcasting Texas A&M football uh, on the radio. It's, uh, 
I've been doing it since 89, uh, and I've been working with my broadcast partner, Dave South, since uh, 1990. And he's actually the one that got me the job uh, doing the color commentary. And it's just, as an Aggie, to be able to watch every game, to be a part of the team, uh, and to, to follow Aggie football and talk to other Aggies about it, it's just a very special feeling. What will it mean for you to be inducted into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame tonight here in Waco? Well, it is close, and it's close by to where I live. We live just outside of uh, Bryan College Station. Uh, my final thought about that is that uh, I have just been so blessed. I'm so thankful to, well, to everybody involved uh, that, uh, that I'm one of the inductees, and uh, I'm humbled, uh, I'm honored. Uh, when I look at the people that I'm going in with, the, the Eric Metcalfs and the Pat Henrys and, uh, and the Wade Phillips and uh, Darren Woodson and Nasty Lukin and the volleyball players, I mean, I'm very humbled. It's, it's a great honor.